Are video games too easy? Are they too hard? Should easy mode exist? Of course, you can see Dark Souls is behind me. It's one of the biggest catalysts for this conversation. And you have other games with different difficulties, easy mode. It's too easy. It takes all the fun out of it. One of them has to be true, right? Just real quick before we go further. On this channel, we cover gaming news, gaming theories, and gaming discussion. If that sounds like the kind of content you're interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Back to the video. So first, we're going to address video games being too hard, mainly Dark Souls right here. I will say for myself, there's a lot about, like, I've watched a lot of videos on Dark Souls lore. I find the whole world of Dark Souls very interesting. I think if you have the skill cap for it and the patience for it, it can be a really, really fun series to play. The problem with Dark Souls, let me paint this picture for you. One thing that annoys me more, and I think is one of the worst things in game design of anything, is retread. If you have to backtrack, spend time just to get to the boss room or whatever it is, just to have the fight again, over and over again, that grinds my gears. It wears down on me. And I know I can't be the only one. Unskippable cutscene. Taking time between fights. Like, you're like, okay, I think I know how to beat him now, but then you have to wait. And by the time you get there, you might have forgotten something. You might not be as polished up because you've been out of the fight for a little bit. So you go back in and you get killed again. You gotta go do that again. That's what Dark Souls does. It brings you back to the bonfire and you have to go all the way back. And a lot of the bonfires aren't even close to where the boss fights are. I'm sorry, no matter how interested I am in a game, I'm not gonna put myself through that kind of suffering. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. So, like, the stuff that I am interested in, I'm gonna to look it up on YouTube. So you have a whole base of people who would love to play Dark Souls, but refuse to do it because they don't want to, they're not masochists. They don't want to put themselves through that kind of emotional torture. So the argument comes, well, we can't put, we can't make Dark Souls easier. They'll ruin the game. I've never understood this argument. Or in normal mode. So it's really quite simple. All you have to do is build your game with difficulty that you want it to be. And that's the normal mode. Now to create an easy mode, you change nothing about the game. You just make it where enemies have less HP, they hit less hard, you have more HP, and you hit harder. If you're a Dark Souls fan and you love the challenge, it doesn't ruin the game at all because you're going to play normal anyways. And if you do that, you can also create a hard mode where you make it even more challenging than usual. How does this ruin the game? Now don't get me wrong, I've played a lot of video games in my lifetime that did not have a difficulty setting. My favorites growing up. I don't believe Metal Gear Solid, the original on PS1, I don't believe it had a difficulty setting. Final Fantasy VIII is probably one of the most important games to me as a gamer in my, like, well, you know, my history. When I was a kid growing up, nostalgia-wise, doesn't have a difficulty setting. Legend of Zelda, which I obviously love, I've done many videos on the anniversary and all that, done an unboxing video, doesn't have a difficulty setting. And there's a lot more, but I'm not just gonna sit here and list them all off. We're gonna be here all day. But I don't think those games are better because they didn't have a difficulty setting. Like I said, whatever you feel like the base difficulty of a game should be, you build the game around that, and that's your normal mode. You don't build a game to be easier. That's the problem, is if you don't have a difficulty mode and you're afraid people are not gonna wanna play it because it's too hard, then you start making things easier. You don't have a difficulty mode, that ruins the game. But if you set the difficulty where it should be when you're making the game, and you build the game around that, which you just make difficulty settings, which the only thing that you change is the statistics of the characters in the game. It doesn't ruin the game. It allows you to set where you want your difficulty. Do you want where they intended? Do you want an even harder challenge, or do you want an easier one? But no gameplay was altered for the sake of a certain difficulty. It was set exactly how they envisioned it, how they wanted it. Now we talk about why this is important. Yeah, and you could make the argument, well, get good. And that argument has a certain amount of legitimacy to it. However, not everyone has that kind of time. There's people who work 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week. Whenever they finally have time to sit down and play a video game, they just want to enjoy themselves. They don't want to have to run back and back and back and back to the same boss dying over and over again. They don't have time for that. And it's frustrating. Why would they ha they work they all these hours? They deal with their family, their kids, their wives, and all of that. Why, when they sit down to have time to relax, would they want to sit there and be frustrated even further than their real life does for them? Everyone doesn't play video games for the challenge. Some people just want to play it just because they want to have fun, the enjoyment. I remember back when I was a kid, I'd be playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I used to run around and just roleplay and pretend like Link was hanging out with Malin. And then when they got older, like, they'd get married. Which is funny, because that's pretty much canon now. I didn't know that back then. And some people just want to play a game because they want to experience a story. And some people just want to play a game so they can hang out with friends they otherwise couldn't. That's when you have, like, these online games, MMOs, your Call of Duties, all those. They're not playing it for a challenge, they're playing it to have fun with their friends. So that's why I personally do not understand this obsession with, oh, games have to be hard, and if you're not good enough, screw you, you go play another game, 
wussy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if someone beats Dark Souls, any Dark Souls game, any Soulsborne game in general, they don't have a right to brag if they beat it on easy mode. But they should still be able to experience the story and the lore and the world of those games if they find it interesting. What does making sure that people can't play the game add to it? I understand the argument. Uh, the difficulty of the Dark Souls games and games like it are a big part of the experience. Although there is a lot of like item descriptions and stuff and that you can learn about the lore of the world and all that through looking at item descriptions of the items in the game. A lot of people love that stuff, but they just don't have the patience. Now on the other side, I don't think you should be designing games specifically to be easy, either. Unless it's like Animal Crossing or something, it's like a leisure game. But if it's like a game, a normal game, you need to design around a base challenge. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, making optional difficulties for people who don't have the skill or time or patience to deal with that doesn't ruin the game. You can still play normal mode, or hard. In fact, I think it helps the design, because like I said, you. Bigger companies like EA, they want to be marketable. They want to sell marketable games that as many people will buy as possible. And they're not going to sign on for games that are intentionally this, that difficult. So they will literally force developers to design the difficulty of the game around less skillful players. Like, they will literally purposely design a game to be easy. Its design will be around making it easy and profitable. Is that preferable? to designing a game around being the difficulty the creator wants it to be, and just making an easy mode where you just make enemies either easier or a hard mode where you make them harder to kill. Literally, you're not changing design. All you're changing is the stat values. Anyways, guys, that's all I have. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you disagree with me, let me know why, and we can have a conversation. If you liked the video, please smash that like button. And until next time, this has been Solid Shepard, and I should go.